Make sure guys you stand till the end, it could be something uh, that's not very complicated to fix, it doesn't mean you have a bad hair gasket, so we're going to cover very helpful information. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Fiat 500. Uh, you may have a diesel or gasoline engine guys, anything practically from year 2008 to currently year 2022. If you have uh, oil in your coolant or you have coolant in your engine oil, stay with us, we'll explain top places for that, how it can happen and uh, one of those guys, it's uh, very common on higher mileage vehicles and it doesn't mean that your engine is destroyed if you uh, fix that problem on time because if you keep driving that way you will cause damage to the internal parts of your engine such as rod bearings main bearings cylinder head because when coolant gets in the oil okay the oil will lose its lubricating uh, properties so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can i want you guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts, tools, you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. So, now we'll be demonstrating on a Fiat 500 apart, but even if you have a different engine, it will work as well. One common thing back in the day, you put a dipstick, you see engine oil in it, uh, I mean you see coolant and oil mixed, okay, and you automatically think it's a bad head gasket, blown cylinder head, gasket, uh, cracked cylinder head or cracked cylinder engine block. Uh, but uh, it is likely guys, especially if the car was overheated, okay, it could happen. But on modern cars there is one other place where it can happen and let's talk about that now. Most of the times, okay, we have one special device guys that actually uh, is known as the oil cooler. So on these modern cars you have guys oil cooler and let's explain, okay, Depending on the engine, maybe different position, but ours is on the front side, right here. That's our oil cooler. And in that cooler, you will have coolant, guys, and engine oil going through the cooler. So you have the engine go, go, going through it, and then cooler uh, will be going in the uh, uh, channels next to it. And the engine coolant will actually keep the engine oil at certain temperature. Practically, it will cool it. So uh, now you have. Uh, two problems where that can happen. You have uh, a seals gasket where it attaches here and if that gasket fail, okay, you can mix coolant and engine oil. Or the other thing is to have internal problem like a, a cracked internal cooler and that can easily cause it as well. But the gaskets guys on an older car, that is very, very uh, actually common thing to see. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.